more on the shoulders, Jackie. Yeah, yeah, champ. When I rub them down, I do it good. How much you bet on me to win the fight, Jackie? All my bread and butter for a week, I bet. Yeah? Hope you ain't gonna be hungry. Come in. Hello, Johnson. Huh. Hi, Mr. Edwards. That's enough for now, Jackie. Get lost. Sure, sure. The champ says get lost, I get lost. How are you feeling, Johnson? Great. Think you can take Hollister in the fight tonight? What do you think? I can't afford to just think. I've got to know. You gamblers are all alike. I oh, know, Johnson. We're not all alike. Some of us aren't smart. Okay. Let's have the pitch. No pitch, Johnson. I just want you to know my syndicate is backing Hollister to win tonight. I think I see what you mean. Nothing doing. Look, Johnson. There's money in it for you, too. I make my money fighting. I want you to take a dive in the sixth round. You're going to be a nice boy and go down for the count in the sixth. Am I? Yeah. Either you get knocked out in the sixth or dragged out of an alley later on. See you later, champ. Beneficial Finance Company has the cash you want for any good reason. Just say the word. Call up. Tell us how much you want and when you want it. You're the boss. Yes, you're the boss. At Beneficial. Right now, you get ready cash at Beneficial. The instant way to clean up bills. Buy the things you need. Do the things you want. For service that's just a little friendlier and faster, come to Beneficial for ready cash. Cash. Just say the word. When you want cash, for any good reason, just tell us how much you want and when you want it. You're the boss. You're the boss. At Beneficial. Beneficial Finance Company. And now, meet Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy. Friend to those who have no friends. Hey, Jackie. Go oh, see who that is at the door, will you? Yeah, yeah, the door. Sure, champ, sure. Yeah? Is this Bob Johnson's dressing room? That's right. Hey, is that Boston Blackie out there? Yeah, Bob. Can I come in? Sure, pal. Why not? Yeah, the, the champ says come in. You come in. How are you, Blackie? Fine, Bob. And you? In the pink. What's up? Well, there's some talk going around, Bob. I've heard rumors the fight's been fixed. Is that so? Is it, Bob? What's it to you? <laughs> well, I'd just like to know which way to bet. Yeah. To be specific, Bob, I heard that you are set to take a dive in the sixth. What are you calling me? Nothing. I just. Hey, Jackie, to... open the door for Blackie. He's leaving. Sure. The champ says open the door, I open the door. So you are fixed to take a dive, huh? Get out of here, Blackie, or I'll forget we used to be friends. Go ahead and forget. You've apparently forgotten you used to be a clean fighter. What I do in the ring is my own business. A scram. Taking a dive is pretty rotten, Bob. Maybe a good punch in the face will shut that yep of yours. Thanks, throwing the right, right in there, champ. You knocked him down, you knocked him. You want more, Blackie? I think maybe you'll be sorry you took me, Bob. That a champ can sure punch, huh? Great guy you're handling, Jackie. You can look any non-professional in town. Beat it, Blackie, and stay out. Uh, the champ says to beat it, Blackie. You beat it. Close the door, Jackie. Don't let that rat in here again. I'll be seeing you, Johnson. Wow. Hello, Blackie. Oh, Inspector Faraday. Now my evening's perfect. Just give me time, Blackie. I'll think of something to spoil it. Uh, what's the matter with your job, Blackie? The same thing that'd be the matter with yours if Bob Johnson tagged you. <laughs> What'd you try to do, Blackie? Tell him how to fight? I'll write your letter. Only that wouldn't do any good, would it? Who'd read it to you? Very unfunny. You gonna watch the fight? No. That's good. Then I can go and see it and enjoy myself. Well, this Johnson Hollister battle ought to be a good one. Maybe not good, but interesting. Yeah? What does that mean? Did you see who just went into Hollister's dressing room? Johnson's handler, Jackie. Just what does that mean? What 
kind of information have you got, Jackie? I'm telling you, I got it, Mr. Beckley. I got uh, it. Get on back to Johnson's dressing room, Jackie, and tell him I'll break his jaw on the ring tonight. Now, beat it. You're having dreams again. Oh, no, Mr. Hollis, I ain't dreaming. I got information. What kind, Jackie? The kind of cost dough. Well, you're my manager, Beckley. You pay the bills. Here's half a C note, Jackie. I'll spill it. Hey, thanks. You're 50, huh? 50. Spill it, Jackie. What do you know? Now, uh, Johnson's fixed to take a dive in a sixth. He had a sixth. What? How do you know? I just know. I heard him and Mr. Edwards. Hmm. Here's another 50. Keep your mouth shut. Another? Sure, sure. I'll shut up. Now, scram out of here quick. Thanks, Jackie. Thanks a lot. Sure, I don't tell nobody nothing. I don't tell nobody. Nobody. Sir. Don't forget. Sure, sure. Well, Joe. What do you know about that? Well, Johnson's fixed to take the count in the six, eh? Looks like we're in, huh? In, kid. We're in the chips. I'm putting every last cent I got on you, kid. I love that, Jackie. I love Johnson. I love you. It's a wonderful world. I could go out and kiss somebody. Save it, Joe. Save it till we see Johnson kiss the canvas. <laughs> Turn the radio down, down just a minute, will you, Carol? Sure, Still on the wire, Harry? Sure, Mr. Edwards. How are the odds we're getting to New Orleans? Great, Mr. Edwards. Getting them all right in Los Angeles? Sure. And Chicago's taking 20 to 1 against Johnson dropping in the sixth. Well, the fight's going into the fifth now. Won't be long before the customers get the bad news. All set, my boss. Oh, sure. This is a real boat race. I hope so. Because if Johnson don't dive and in the right round, oh. we'll have to close What up. are you worrying about? I'm not worrying about anything. I'll call you again after the safe. Okay. So long. Bye. Turn the radio off, Carolyn. I want to enjoy every minute of this. Sure thing. Both fighters look to be in the best of shape. This promises to be a great fight right down to the last punch of the Did last second. Did you get you that mink coat, Carolyn? <laughs> you think I don't know it? Johnson takes the dive in the next round, honey. Mm. Feel that mink coat already? I want to hear this. Johnson is after him. Hollister tries a left to the face that misses. Lands a light right that does no damage. And there's a hard right by Johnson. And a left that staggers the challenger. And they fall into a glitch. The referee moves in and breaks him apart. Hollister moves in now with a left. A right. Another left that misses. And Johnson comes back with a right. And a left that graces a face. Hollister tries a left to the body. Another left. Johnson lands a right on the jaw. And another right. And Hollister is down. Get up. Hollister Get up. For the count of three. Four. Five. Johnson wasn't supposed to win. Didn't you say he was going to lose the fight in the sixth? Isn't that no good double-crosser? Well, he won the fight. But maybe he's going to lose something much more important. Having a good time, Jackie? Me, Mr. Edwards. I like fighters Johnson throws when he wins a fight. Even K.O. Hollister was invited. I haven't seen our host around for the last half hour. Where is he, Jackie? I thought he was with you, Carolyn. Maybe out on a terrace. <laughs> the champ was talking Jackie. to Boston Blackie last I saw them, but I don't know where they are. Is Boston Blackie here? Why didn't somebody tell now, me? Don't get Johnson sore all over again at Blackie, Carolyn. What's Johnson sore at Blackie for? Uh, Blackie said Johnson was going to throw the fight tonight. Johnson laid one right on his kisser. Uh-oh. I hope it didn't spoil that handsome face. Nah, it was only a lay him down tap. I wish I could find the champ. I'd like to talk to him. I wish I could find Boston Blackie. I could go for him. Well, you don't have to go far mm -hmm. because here he is. Hello, hale and handsome. Hello, blonde and beautiful. Do you have a name? You and Johnson made up, Blackie? You made up? I think so. Introduce it, someone. Oh, Blackie. This is Carolyn Smith. Carolyn, Boston Blackie. Hello. How do you do? Now it's official, Miss Smith. But huh. take it easy, Blackie. She's the champ's special girlfriend. You've had one punch from him already. Well, with my girlfriend Mary Wesley on vacation till next week, I wouldn't mind being knocked out for a knockout like Carolyn. You certainly know the right things to say, Blackie. Well, they wouldn't be if the champ heard them. Where is he, Blackie? Uh, last I saw him about, uh, oh, I guess it was ten minutes ago. He was out on the terrace. Excuse me, I think I'll try to find him. I'll go with you, huh? No, 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 I want to talk to him alone, Jackie. It's a personal matter. But I'd like to hear what he's going to say to the champ. What do you mean, Jackie? Nothing. i got to go and make eyes at the pretty girl. Uh, Jackie isn't so slap-happy at that. <laughs> you make eyes at the pretty girls, Blackie. 
Certainly not in a crowded room. Where would you suggest? Terrace, perhaps? Why not? If we find we don't like each other, there's always the view. Hey, Blackie, if the can come in here, I haven't seen him, Edwards. He wasn't out on the terrace? No, I can't find him anywhere. Maybe he doesn't like parties, even his own. I'll see if I can find him. In that case, we'll all look for him. Now, you go ahead. I think I'll go home. Thought you had to talk uh, business with Johnson. I did. It can wait. Coming, Blackie? No, I just noticed the time. I have to be up early. I think I'll leave with Edwards. Oh, please don't. Sorry, but I'd better. Wait a second, Edwards. I'll drive you uptown in my car. Well, if you two are leaving, I might as well. May I have a lift, too? Why not? Come on, let's all get out of here. All right, everybody. Quiet, oh, quiet. We didn't get out soon enough. That's Inspector Faraday. All right, everybody. Stay right where you are. Nobody leaves until I say so. Uh, what's this all about? This is Bob Johnson's apartment, isn't it? Yes, it is. But he's not here. Of course he's not here. Because he's in the courtyard, 18 stories on. And he's dead. Huh? What? What? Yeah. And somebody in the building across the street saw him get pushed. Now, who... Well, look who's here. Black. Oh, gee, I'm hurt that you didn't notice me the moment you came in, Inspector. The minute I got to that body, I should have known you'd be somewhere around. I remain, as always, Faraday, your faithful suspect. Yeah, I'll attend to you later. Who was the last one here to see Johnson alive? I think Blackie was, Inspector. Oh. Uh-uh. I say I'd attend to you later, Blackie? Oh, no. I'm going to attend to you now. Inspector, you're in a rut. Blackie, you're in a jam. I know you had a fight with Johnson early this evening. So? So? I did. You're coming down to headquarters. Oh, Faraday, what for? For murder, Blackie. And if I have my way, for good. You all know our record for settling nationwide auto claims fast. More than half are settled within 24 hours after notice of loss. Two-thirds within 72 hours. That's a speed record pretty tough to beat. Uh, Hoskins front and center. Yes, sir. Yesterday, you delivered a nationwide auto claim check two minutes late. Why? It was such a nice day, I thought I'd walk. That's not the fast nationwide way. Yes, sir. All right, man. At the signal, let's move out and top our record. You there, Hoskins. What are you lagging behind for? Well, I... Well, what's the matter? My track shoe peeps are stuck in the floor. Nationwide Auto Insurance. Your best part. Nationwide Auto Insurance. Always the best for you and your car. And now, back to Boston Blackie. Blackie had an argument with a boxer whom he accused of being fixed. Later, at the fighter's victory party, the fighter is found dead. Blackie is the last person who saw him alive. And so Inspector Faraday has arrested Blackie on suspicion of murder. As we return to our story, Blackie is at police headquarters getting the third degree. How would you like a nice, tall, cool glass of water, Blackie? Chock full of ice. Well, Faraday, that would be great. Well, you're not going to get it. Thanks. What's the matter, Blackie? The lights hurt your eyes? They are a little bright, Faraday, which is more than I can say for you. You want me to turn them down a little, sweetheart? Want to turn them out? It's cozier that way. Go on, turn them down, please, Inspector. All right. Hey, Matthews, turn the lights up as bright as they'll go. Why, it's pleasure, Inspector. Faraday, you're a great guy when you've got your playmates with you. Let me get in a room alone with you, and maybe we'll get somewhere. Come on, Blanky. Talk. Sure, Inspector. About what? About Bob Johnson's death. About Bob Johnson's killer, you mean, don't you? Sure. Go ahead, Blanky. Talk about yourself. That always makes you happy. Sure it does, but seeing you takes the fun away. Look, talk, will you? I don't have all night. I've got nowhere to go. I don't care what you have. All I'm interested in is what I have. I've never noticed that you had much of anything. Oh, I got plenty now. You, on a charge of murder, with a motive... Proof that you're at the scene of the crime and a witness who swears you were the last person to see the dead man alive. Same tired old Faraday, same tired old speech. Come on, Blanky, talk. And this time make it about the murder. Okay, there was a murder. Bob Johnson got killed. Now what, Inspector? Look, no more wisecracks, you. You're in a jam. And you're in a blizzard as usual. Yeah, maybe. Only nobody ever got the electric chair for being confused. 
And you're headed for the electric chair, Blake. Oh, Faraday, stop, will you? You don't have a thing on me. Oh, no? Get this set up. A crooked boxer. An important fight. Heavy betting. A penthouse party. Well, all it needs now to make it perfect is a beautiful blonde. Go see who's at the door, Matthews. Sure, Inspector. If it's the blonde, see if she can get a friend for Faraday here. Blackie, you're supposed to be getting the third degree. Oh, so this is the third degree. Well, I'm glad you told me. What time do I crack up and confess? Inspector Faraday. What is it, Matthews? Inspector Faraday, there's a blonde dame outside who says she knows something about Blackie and the Bob Johnson murder. The picture's perfect now, Faraday. Here's the blonde that was missing. Quiet, Blackie. Go bring her in, Matthews. Right away, Inspector. Right away. Well, Inspector? What do you mean, well? Are you going to let me go? Are you crazy? No, you are. You're so excited about getting me on the spot that you haven't given yourself time to think about who really might have killed Bob Johnson. I know who killed him. You. What about Hollister's manager? Well, what about him? He bet his shirt on Hollister to beat Johnson. Hollister lost. So what? So maybe that was the last shirt Hollister's manager had. He might have killed Johnson on account of it. Yeah? And as Edward, as a gambler. Johnson may have cost him a fortune by winning. So what? So, there's still another possibility. Hollister himself. Maybe he made a deal with Johnson for the champ to let him win the fight and Johnson double-crossed him. Sure, sure. So they're suspects, too. But you're the murderer. Inspector Faraday and his one crack mind. I heard the fight was fixed. I don't know who fixed it, but somebody double-crossed somebody else, and that's why Johnson's dead. Here's the dame who wants to see you, Inspector. Thanks, Matthews. Come in, young lady. Thanks. You wait outside, Matthews. Sure. Who are you, miss? This is Carolyn Smith, Bob Johnson's girlfriend. Oh, yeah. You were at the party when I arrested Blackie here. And I think you made a terrible mistake, Inspector. So I made a mistake, huh? She doesn't know you very well, Faraday. She thinks that's new. Right, Blackie. Honestly, Inspector, I'm sure Blackie didn't kill Bob. I suppose you know exactly who did. No, but I know who might have. Who? Edward, the gambler. What makes you think that? Well, I know he made a deal with Bob to throw the fight in the sixth round. And I was with Edward listening to the radio when Bob won the fight in the fifth. Edward said then that he was going to take care of Bob. And take care, in this case, didn't mean to provide for his old age, Faraday. It meant to make sure he didn't have one. I know what it means, Blackie. I'm going out to see this guy, Edward. Hey, what about me? Don't tell me I'm not a suspect any longer. You? I never thought you were. But I thought you knew plenty about this case. Well, in that case, I'll go out and see Edwards, too. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. Hey, Matthews! Matthews! Yeah, Inspector? Keep Blackie here for 30 minutes. Then let him go. Yes, sir. Don't forget. 30 minutes. I'll watch him. What's that precaution for, Inspector? So I can be sure to get to Edwards before you do. This is one case I'm going to handle myself. Well, after you get through handling it, Inspector, come to me and I'll solve it for you. Yeah, I need you like I need another arm. Hey, I could use another arm something. No, I'm not. Say, uh, thanks for coming to my rescue, Miss Smith. Can I help it if I like you? Do you like me enough to lie about Edwards? Sure. Only I wasn't lying. It was the truth. Bob Johnson told me Edwards had warned him he'd have to take a dive in the sixth or else. Now, doesn't that make Edwards the most obvious suspect? Of course it does. And that's why I don't think he killed Bob at all. Then who did? Well, as Hollister, the loser, he had a great motive. Revenge. But the person with the least motive of all would be Hollister's manager, Joe Beckley. I know where Mr. Beckley lives. Do you want to go to see him? No, I don't want to, but if I'm going to find a killer for Faraday, I've got a hunch I'll have to. Miss Smith, you're sure this is where Beckley lives? This is where he lived yesterday, the last time I saw him. Funny he doesn't answer. Let's try the door, huh? It's open. Yes, yeah, more or less. Let's make it still more. Hmm. Dark. I think a little light will take care of that. The switch should be here at the side of the door. And it is. There. <gasps> Don't faint, Miss Smith. A dead man never hurt anyone. It's, it's Mr. Beckley. Well, there goes my little theory. Don't touch anything while I look at the body. Hmm. Dead only a few minutes. All your theories are wrong, Blackie. Faraday. This case has enough complications without you here. Miss Smith can tell you I didn't kill this guy. He was here. I know he was dead when you found him, Blackie. I've been here for the last three minutes. Didn't you get to see Edwards? Sure, I saw him. When? I left him about 15 minutes ago. How long were you with him? Uh, half an hour, maybe. You know, I got a hunch he killed Johnson. But I can't arrest people on hunches. Not people, only me. But don't bother to arrest Edwards, Faraday. He's innocent. 
Yeah, I suppose you know who killed Johnson and this guy Beckley here. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Well, please, Blackie. Please don't look at me. I can't help it, beautiful. Because you have a lot more to do with the solution of this case than meets the eye. Packing. Going anywhere? Yeah. Well, I got here just in time, didn't I? In time for what? You think I'm dumb, don't you? I never gave you a thought of any kind. What do you want? I want money, Hollister. Who doesn't? Look, I know the whole story, and I want to be paid to keep quiet. What whole story are you talking about? Why you killed Bob Johnson and your manager. You're crazy. You want to hear how crazy I am? Why should I kill anybody, much less Johnson and Beckley? Now, look. Bob didn't hit you in the fifth round. Not hard enough to knock you out, that is. I know he didn't, and he knew he didn't. You went down the fifth because you had a lot of money bet on Bob to win in the fifth. Yeah? And if Bob won the fight, I won a lot of dough. Why should I kill him? Because Bob knew he hadn't hit you with a knockout punch, and he wanted a cut of your winnings. Or he'd go to the authorities. So? So, sometime, during a party at his apartment, you killed him. And you killed your manager for the same reason. He saw that Bob hadn't hit you hard enough to knock you down. He bet everything he had on you, and he wanted a cut of your winnings, or he'd go to the boxing commission, too. Smart, aren't you? Now, I want some money, Hollister. Just enough to get me out of town. And keep me out. Or? Or? If I stay around town, I might meet somebody who'd like to know what I know. And I might start talking. Look, you little blackmailing. It's my business to knock people around. Just because you're a day... You let go of me, you're 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 not smart enough to figure this out for yourself. Who did it for you? No one, no one. Talk, you were a brick. You're you're hating me, please. Who figured this out for you, huh? Want to get hit again? No, no. Who figured that I killed Johnson and Beckley? Blackie. Who? Boston Blackie. Take somebody that smart. I might have known. Where can I find him? Oh, please. Let go of me. Where can I find Blackie? He's outside in the hall. Well, I'll take care of him. Miss You stay just where you are. Oh, please. Please don't do anything. Now, shut up. Snooping at the keyhole, huh, Blackie? Thanks for talking so loud, Hollister. You're not going to be able to tell anybody what you have. Oh, you're not fair, Hollister. You didn't give me a chance to get my gun. One good punch in the right face. I should what, Hollister? Put you to sleep. I'm not that tired. But you're going to be. <clears throat> Go to sleep. Blackie. Hello, killer. Blackie, are you all right? All right, Carolyn. And my left isn't bad either. Hollister's on the floor. What did you hit him with? My hands. I threw a right at him. Now I'll drag him down to headquarters and watch Faraday throw the book at him. Well, Faraday, did you get a confession from Hollister? Yeah, but no thanks to you. No, 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 of course not. But you might thank Carolyn Smith. I told her to go to Hollister and pretend she knew the whole story. How did you ever guess he killed Bob Johnson and Beckley? I didn't guess Carolyn until after we found Beckley murdered. Up until then, I thought Edwards had killed Johnson for not going down for the count in the sixth round. I know a lot of fighters, Carolyn, and they're all clean-living kids. It's a good thing for the game that there aren't many characters like Hollister and Johnson. Say, uh, what swung you to Hollister as the murderer, Blinky? The fact that you'd just come from seeing Edwards. Beckley had been dead for only a few minutes, so Edwards couldn't possibly have killed him. You see, I was sure Johnson and Beckley were killed by the same man for the same reason. Well, from now on, Blackie, I'm certainly going to believe it when I hear that you solve most of the police cases in this town. He solves them? What ever gave anybody that idea? Oh, that isn't true, Carolyn. I don't solve all the police cases in this town, only the ones that Faraday works on. <laughs> <laughs> 